Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how do I make my Mario 64 sound font videos. There are a ton of different ways of doing this, but they all involve something called a sound font, which is basically just a compilation of every instrument and environmental sound that a game uses to create its music. There's so many sound fonts for a variety of older games, including most Nintendo 64 games, NES, SNES, Genesis, and so many more. Today, though, I'm going to show you how to use the Mario 64 sound font. And don't worry, you won't have to pay for any of this. Um, it's all going to be free. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the sound font for the game. So I'll link this in the description, but all you really have to do is search up the Mario 64 uh, sound font. And you can click either, any of these links. I use this one. Um, and then you can just download. I usually use this second one here. And you can just save it to your desktop like that. And then it should just be right here. I'll just keep it up here. So the next thing you're going to want to download is a sound font player. Um, so I use a program called Sforzando, uh, which I'll, will also be linked in the description. So you can also just search this. Um, and then you want to go to the second one down here because this first one you have to like sign up for something and pay for it and stuff. But usually this one works. I'll link this in the description. And then um, you just need to download the version that's compatible with your operating system. So for me, that would be the uh, Windows 64 version. So you can check your operating system um, if you don't know in Windows by going to the File Explorer, going to this PC, right clicking, and then going to Properties. And then it'll tell you right here, your system type is a 64-bit operating system. Um, so I have that downloaded already, so I won't. Um, if you're on a Mac, you just click on the top corner of the screen with the Apple logo and then press about this Mac and it'll tell you which version you're running so you can do any of these ones. Um, so this Fortzondo file will be downloaded as a zip file. Um, so just as an example, I'm going to compress this to a zip file. We'll just call it that. Um, so you can use either WinZip, uh, 7-Zip or WinRAR to um, open these kinds of files. So for 7-Zip, once you have the desktop application, you literally just drag it onto here and it'll open that for you. And then you can just ex press extract and extract it to your desktop. Um, I already have that file on there, so I won't do that. And then for WinRAR, you can do the same thing, but I don't have the uh, application on my desktop. So you can just press open with and then WinRAR archiver. Um, you can close this out. These are also free by the way, and then you just press extract to click on desktop and then okay I already have it there again, so I'm not going to do that um, So yeah, that's how you can open that and then it'll just have an installation file inside and you can just um, download that um, The last thing we're going to need is a digital audio workstation. So the one I use is right here called waveform um, so you can just search up waveform and click on the first one and then press free download. You're going to have to sign up. Unfortunately, it doesn't take too long and there's just a verification email. Um, all you have to do is put in your email, then your name and stuff. You can use a fake name if you want. I really don't think it matters. Um, and then you check your email, verify your email address, and then it should take you to a downloads link where you can download the program. If you're not taken to a download page, you should be able to just log into the website through here. I'm already logged in now. And then it'll be a downloads thing right here. And you can do it for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Um, so then once you have everything installed, we can start um, actually making the song. So the first thing you'll need is a MIDI file. Um, so I use freemidi.com because it's the easiest to use, um, but you can use any website that has MIDI. There's a ton of different ones. Um, and then for this video, I'll be doing Master of Puppets, which will be cool. Um, so I'll just put that in there. So you can just search up Master of Puppets and just click the first one, um, any of your songs. And then you just press download MIDI, and then you can save it wherever you want. I have a specific folder, um in my thing where I save MIDI tracks, so I can just do that. Okay, perfect. So once you have that, uh, we can open up, here, just let me drag it, where did it go? Oh yeah, put it into here, oops. I don't know why that did that, okay. Um, 
there it is okay so i'm just gonna bring this to my desktop to make it easier um now we can open up waveform and then all you have to do is click on new project um here we go new project and then i'll just name it master of puppets and then create project so now the first thing you need to do is drag your uh, MIDI file over to track one and then press import and then separate clips. Um, so this will assign each instrument from the song to different tracks so that we can set each one individually to different instruments from the sound font. Um, not all the MIDI files will be nicely labeled like this and say like vocals, guitar, but sometimes you just have to figure it out, unfortunately. Um, there will always be lower quality midis that you're going to have to deal with and i'm sure if you've watched my other videos you've probably seen some of the songs sound a little weird so that's the reason for that um so a lot of these tracks here we can actually delete so i can delete this one the sys ex one and then any of them that don't really have anything in them you can just delete and it'll just make it so much easier to work with so i think all of these at the bottom here I can just delete uh, yeah pretty much I don't know why they do this but sometimes it happens so you just gotta delete all those okay perfect um, once all the tracks are ready we need to set up the sound font in the sound font player that we downloaded so you can just open up Swartzondo and then you press file Oop, not file, sorry. Instrument, and then you're gonna import. Um, click on your sound font file, which will be the SF2 file. So it should be here. And then you can see all the different instruments here. It's pretty cool. Um, once you do that, set it up in Sportsondo, you can just close it. You won't have to adjust any of the knobs or anything on there. Then we can go back to waveform and then we're going to just want to assign each of these to a instrument so all you do is you press the plus um here on the right hand side and then click on sforzando and then you press the sforzando button um so this is a plug in here and then you can go click on empty uh, converted so when we imported this it converted it so that we can use it with this program then sf2 then i have two different ones but i'll use the one that we downloaded and then go to zero 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 um and then you can just assign each of the different instruments so usually for vocals i use celesta um and it just sounds like you kind of hear it there um and then we'll do the same thing for this so these are uh, the same thing. There's just right and left. And then guitar, I like to use. Um, I'll show you. Overdrive guitar. So these are the settings that I use usually for my metal. I usually do metal videos. Um, but if you can, like I said, do whatever instrument that you want, it doesn't really matter. Guitar 3 and solo guitar do the same thing. It is kind of annoying having to click the same thing over and over. There might be a different way to do it, but this is just the way that I do it. Okay, almost there. Oops. Perfect. And, and then there's still a few more. So the bass, the bass one that I think sounds the best personally is the electric bass F. Just sounds the best for me at least in my opinion um and then f after i do this the drums are a little bit different so for the drums you go to instead of going to zero 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 you're gonna want to go to 128 and then i use general percussion um i usually use this one because it just sounds cleaner with the final product in my opinion um, and then you can play it a little bit and just see how it sounds. So 
yeah, it sounds pretty good. So once you're all done playing with that, um, you click on these three bars down here, go to file and then export. And then I usually just save it to my desktop to begin with. And then you just press render and then you just wait for it. Perfect. And then you're good to close this and you can just press save. And now you have a WAV file for your um, file. So that'll be the whole thing right there. And then all we have to do now is just make an album cover. Um, you can download any picture that you want. I usually just use Paint 3D. Um, and you can just put in the uh, album cover. So you can just click any thing and then there we go Perfect. So that took longer than I thought, but yeah, now we have our really dumb album cover and we have our, um, where to go? There it is. <laughs> our Mario 64 thing. So yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll answer any comments and questions if anyone needs help and thanks for watching.